All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakhak, Kodash, the honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who were well. And salutation and much love to you, Akim out there pushing out his word in true sincerity. And salutations as well to the men, women, and children learning in the sincerity. All right, and, um, you know, this is the brothers from Great Millstone Tampa. I'm the brother Ash. My God. And uh, we're just going to do a quick video, you know, just going into how the Lord controls everything at the end of the day. All right, that's why in Ephesians chapter 1, it talks about predestination. Because, well, everything's already been established. All right, everything's already been written. The scripture also says that declaring the end from the beginning. Okay, everything is is, is the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, go ahead, brother. Yep, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 10 in verse 23. It says, O Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to uh, direct his steps. Right. So it said that man's ways are not of himself. That, I mean, that's <laughs> straight to the point. Yeah. Your ways are not of yourself. You think? We'll get that where it says uh, uh, in, in sleep, in deep sleep, you know, oh, yeah. the instructions. So yeah. you think you're doing your own will. There's no such thing as free will. Everything's already been written. All right. This, this is just a movie. What happens in movies when you're directing a movie? When you're recording a movie, guess what? It's already been recorded. They're going off of a script. All right? They're not just throwing shit in there on the fly. You know, oh, let's do it like this. I mean, yeah, you know, they change up the script. as the, as, But that's Esau shit. You know, this is that's the man's ways to do it. Like, oh, they'll make a movie. And then halfway through the movie, they might change a couple things. And then go back and re-record. Whatever the case may be. But the Most High's program has already been established. And now it's just being uh, played out. Right, go ahead. Yep, it's uh, Job 33. I start at verse 14. Job 33, verse 14. It says, For the Most High speaketh once, yea, twice, yet men perceive it not. Verse 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. That's right. So you're you're being instructed when you're sleeping. What you do, what you're doing today, what you do tomorrow, is all being put in, installed in you, written in you, or be, you're being programmed while you sleep. All right? Simple as that. That's what the scriptures say. You claim to believe in, in God, right? And you, in the word, well, there, that's what his word says. So if you get hit by a bus, the Lord <laughs> made it so. All right? Mm -hmm. If you get judged, the Lord made it so. See, the judgment, all right, doesn't come from man. It comes from the most high. But uh, go back to that, uh, Jeremiah. Yeah. It's, uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, uh, 10. Jeremiah 10, in verse 23, it says, O Yahweh, I know that the way of men, man is not in himself. Now, we understand why, because you're being programmed while you sleep. All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Or the instructions are being given to you while you sleep. Go ahead. Yep. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Mm -hmm. So it's not up to you to direct your steps. You might end up somewhere and you're like, damn. Why the fuck am I even here? You know, that's uh, that's how some people come across camps. You might just be walking down the street, or, or, or you know, doing something. You take a wrong turn, and then you see there you see the men of the Lord on the corners. Like, what the fuck is this? But well, the Lord directed your steps, and and that's in every day of life, in every aspect, man. You wonder how you got into the situation. Well, if you look at it in the bigger scheme. Everything that would happen before you got to that situation was leading you there. Yeah. And that was the Lord directing your steps there. That was it on that one? Yep. Now, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. It says, man's goings are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? So exactly. So you're trying to figure out, damn, how the fuck I get here? You can't. Because it's the man, it's the most high that direct man's steps. You know, the Lord will lead you through some, uh, some crazy shit. And then you'll end up in a complete opposite situation. Or he'll lead you through something. And then you'll end up in a horrible situation. So it is what it is. But it's what man's going are of the Lord. So if the Lord wants you to get into that position, you're going to be in that position. No, if ands bust about it, you can't do nothing to get out of it unless it's the, the will of the Heavenly Father. All right. Just like the judgment that's coming ultimately. Okay. Which that is. And it, and even, it, you know, judgment Esau gives you or judgment the other any other nation gives you or judgment uh, uh, one of our people uh, uh, put on you, you know. That's ultimately going back to the judgment of the Most High. It don't matter if you get sentenced to 20 years in jail. That's the Most High that put your ass in there, not Esau. He just used Esau to do so. Uh, go ahead. Yep. Oh, I got some real quick. Okay. This is uh, Romans chapter 9, and I'll start at verse 18. Romans 9, starting at verse 18, it says, Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, 
in whom he hardeneth, fuck it, in whom he will he hardeneth. And I'll keep on reading about verse 19, but you know, that's pretty much what it is. You know, the Lord set everything up ultimately to what he's going to have planned out for man uh, uh, to, to do, you know, uh, whether it be for mercy or to be destruction, because the Lord is uh, not a false balance, you know, so when he wakes up a man to, to do what he's going to do throughout the day, either it's going to be to his destruction or be to his salvation, you know, and ultimately us, those will be hopefully elect. Right. You know, our, our, our purpose being here is to be uh, sealed, to be uh, saved, you know. That's why it's key to to try to please the Lord. Don't try to please nobody else. Ain't nobody else going to change your judgment or to change your, your fate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, because it says he killeth and maketh alive, mm -hmm. you know. So we go to the source. Uh, Romans 9 and verse 19, it says, Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doeth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? You know, so name to me somebody that resisted the will of Yahweh and All right, we can go right into the script and tell you that, no, this is all going according, going according to the will of the Lord. What he saw is doing what he's getting ready to do. It's already been planned out, mm -hmm. you know, and what the elect going to receive in the time we're coming into, which is salvation, you know, the kingdom. We already know what's going to happen. The point is we have faith and uh, the, everything else is going to fall into place. You know, we don't know if we're the elect, but we hope, you know, but we know the elect's out there. You know, again, you can't, well, it's because scripture talk about you can't deceive the very elect. You can't deceive the elect because mm -hmm. they have the script, you know, and they uh, are going to hold on to that script, you know, no matter what, because that's the only thing that really matters, the word of the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. Kind and when, again, whether it's good or bad, Job even said it. Uh, what well, shall we not receive good and not receive evil? You know, but even Yahushai understood that because he said, uh, you know, he, he knew he had a drink of that cup. Even after trying to get talk to the Most High, he was like, man, he didn't want to drink of it, but he had to because he knew that was the will of the Father. And then what he did? What did he tell Pontius Pilate? He said, you have no authority. You know, rough papers, and you have no power, but. The power that my father gives you, you know, rough paraphrase. So this is Proverbs 29, 29 and I'll get to the point 26. It says many seek the ruler's favor, right? Because the person ruling is the one that's going to give you the judgment. Verbally anyway, right? But ultimately, well, let me keep it. It says many seek the ruler's favor because they're trying to change the judgment, mm -hmm. trying to get a plea deal, this and that. It says, but every man's judgment cometh from the Lord. So your judgment is coming from the Lord ultimately. So you can try to seek the ruler, or you so like you can try to uh, seek the ruler's favor, yeah. but at the end of the day, the judgment is coming from the Most High. I, I got you. Go ahead. The, the Proverbs twenty-one verse one. It says, "The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, Bashan mm -hmm. As the rivers of water, he turneth it with us wherever he will." You know, so we're trying to seek the ruler's favor. You know, we just read here the Lord has him in control. So again, you want to uh, seek the peace of Yahweh, and Shai, not man. Mm -hmm. I got another to go with that. Psalm 75, I'll start at 6. For, for promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But the most high is the judge. He put down one and setteth up another. So again, the, it don't matter what, if you in, uh, uh, entice the ruler or try to find favor in his eye. Ultimately, the the judge is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord is the one that's going to give you the judgment. Whether you like it or not, or whoever he uses... Ultimately, it all goes back to the Most High, right? He sets up kingdoms. He brings kingdoms down. He he might set somebody up over you just at your job, yeah. you know, all the way down to the most minuscule level. The Most High is the authority of everything, man. He's the one. Uh, uh, this it's already been written down. He planned this. He, this is his plot, his device. Okay, everything that you live throughout your day, how many breaths you're gonna take, to how many steps you're gonna walk, you know, it's all in the hands of the Most High. Cause you might walk. You were like, all right, I'm gonna take a thousand. You know, you got the little uh, step yeah. counters. I'm gonna take a three thousand steps today, and you on step two thousand nine hundred ninety nine to get whacked by a bus. You know, it's not up to you. Uh, let me get what is that? Uh, Deuteronomy one and seventeen. It says, "Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is the most high's." And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. You know, that's Moses talking unto the captains that he set up. But that's that's the point. That the judgment is of the most high, so it don't matter. Uh, uh, you know, that's why you're not supposed to have respect to persons. Which, at the end of the day, whatever the judgment comes down, is the judgment of the most high. But you're not supposed to have uh, respect of persons, period. Because, the uh, you know, that would uh, be a, a conflict of interest, so to say. Yeah. All right? At the end of the day... If you don't give that man his judgment, the Most High is going to use the next man to give him the judgment, you know? Yeah, because that's pretty much what the Lord told Jeremiah. He told, you, told, him, told Jeremiah, be not, their, be, be not afraid of their faces, for I'm with you. 
You know, going into the Lord put a, his hand on his mouth, so what? He can go out and prophesy. Because these men have to go and, and, and speak the words of Yahweh Bash and Shai, whether again, whether they hear forbear, there should know a prophet been among them, you know. Um we'll go to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What you want? Uh that's Proverbs. Okay. Start at verse one and then jump to nine. Alright. This is uh, Proverbs chapter uh Proverbs chapter uh sixteen. 16, 16 yeah. so. Uh Proverbs chapter sixteen. Proverbs 16, verse 1, it says, The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. There you go. Even with every word you speak, you might, the most high, it, it will set it up so you do go, you go off. You go off because the most high has ordained it from the beginning. Because that's why the Israel went off. So even down to the individual, the most high has set it up like that. You know, because even you, every word you speak is ultimately ordained from the most high and then that, that's how cold the most high is he he makes you say things that you got to pay for because <laughs> every guy the word you shall give account for well the most high gave you that we just read it the most high made you speak those words see because we're just characters man in the movie that's been written all right the the the, the most high is the director the producer all right the writer and the main character is his son yeah was shy you know and it and then the, the the supporting cast is the elect, and then you got the villains, yeah. Esau, and then everybody else is just extras in the movie. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I'll read verse two, and then I'll get to verse nine. Okay. Uh, Proverbs sixteen verse two it says, "All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but Yahweh weigheth the spirits." Mm -hmm. You know, weighing means you judge. Mm -hmm. You know, so when when again the Lord puts the spirit in man's body, again everything's ordained and steps going into to what they're gonna play out. As far as the whole life has already been set, you know, you just play it out here when you come down here. Yeah, you might think you're right, but the Most High is making you do it anyway. That's why He's gonna weigh you or judge you. Because mm -hmm. that's what it says in Proverbs 14 chapter. It says uh, there's a way that seems right to man, but the end, uh, what? But the end of it is uh, the end. The end is the ways of death. Right. You know. And some people say, well, why would the Most High do that? Why would He make us do evil just to punish us? Well, why not? You're not the Most High. His ways are above your ways. If you got toys, you playing with toy soldiers, all right, or uh, 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 the Transformer toys. And one team is winning. Why? Why is that team win? Why can't the other team win? Why that? Why that little army man had to die? Because you felt like it, right? You the you the one directing the the, the show. Yeah. And that's the same way the Most High. He yeah. don't care about how you feel. He created you. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That's how the way of life goes. You have winners and losers. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't complain when the championship team wins. Exactly. You know, somebody has to win. Yep. You know? Wait, I'll get it. Uh, Proverbs sixteen verse nine. It says, "A man's heart deviseth his way." But the Lord Yahweh directed his steps. Right, because your heart, meaning your mind, is going to device your way. But we read earlier that the Most High is putting that in you, your uh, 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 instructions. So, yeah, your heart is telling you what way to go. But who's the one ultimately directing your steps is the Most High. How? Because he's putting that in you every night, you know. Yeah. And ultimately, it's been declared from the beginning. So we don't we don't ha we don't have to sit back and be like, man, is this this prophecy really gonna happen or is that gonna happen? We know it's gonna happen because the Lord's already declared it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got something? No, I was, I was gonna get what you wanted. Uh, I got I got John six. Okay. Uh, this is John six and sixty five because going going into the elect. All right, because we mentioned predestination. All right, the, the, the Lord said, "You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you." And in John 17 says that they were given unto Yahweh Shai. So it's even the elect and even Yahweh Shai had to do what the Lord told them to do. Okay. It's John 6 and 65. It says, and he said, therefore, it's like, and he said, therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. So there you go. That's another uh, a prime example of you have no control over this. You, have, you can't just choose to oh, I chose sweet Jesus. He came into my, I, let, I allowed Jesus. What they say? I, I, allowed him my heart. I allowed him into my heart. What you talking about? You, you allowed Satan into your heart is what you did. You have, the Lord has to choose you. And that has to be predestinated from the foundations of the earth, first and foremost. Ephesians 1. Okay. Go ahead. I get that, John. Yeah, yeah. And then so, we'll close out. John. So John chapter 8, verse 28 says, Then said Yahweh shy unto them. Yeah, so we're going into, because now he said that you can't come unto me. Un unless it, the father it was given to you from the father, right? So that's so he was talking to his uh, the disciples, the elect. Okay, so now we we gonna expound. Even Yahweh Shai had to obey by what the Lord, the, the heavenly Father said. Go ahead. Uh, John eight twenty eight. Then said Yahweh Shai unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am He, and I and that I do nothing of myself. There you go. 
The Lord don't do nothing with himself. That's why he, he remember, he said, I could call down legion of angels. Why didn't he? Because that's not what the, the Most High told him to do. He could have. Sure, he could have. But he didn't. Because it wasn't up to him. <laughs> Go ahead. Yep, it says. Because yeah. remember, he tried to, we mentioned earlier, he tried to plead with the Lord to, oh, yeah. to pass the cup. But it was not up to the uh, Yahweh Shai. It was up to the Most High. Mm -hmm. this, this is the whole story written by the Most High, man. Go ahead. Yep, it says, but as my father hath taught me, I speak these things. Yeah. There you go. So he not only did he do the will of the father, he actually he he also spoke the things that he was taught from the father. All right, which is the things we teach today. We don't have we. It don't matter how we feel about it. We have to teach what was given unto us, which was given unto Yahweh Shai directly from the father. So it's not about how you feel or, or nothing like that. It's about what the Most High's will is, from what you do to what you say to what you teach. You know how you act, everything. Okay, how you feel, your moods and all that. That's all ordained from the Most High, man. A dog attack you, that's the Most High did that, man. Or you, 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 you snub your toe on the corner of the bed, the Most High did that to you. You got explosive diarrhea, the Most High gave that to you. All right? <laughs> you got a headache, the Most High did that to you, man. You can't get around the, the Most High, man. You can't, there's no such thing, free will and YOLO and all that. You only live once. That's nonsense and that's uh, demonic. You got anything else? Uh, yeah, we can get to grab this. It's, uh, Proverbs 19 and 21. It says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of Yahweh that shall stand. Okay. You know, so the counsel of the Lord that's going to stand at the end of all this. You know, many devices mean many thoughts. And it says that the, the heart is desperately, desperately wicked. Mm -hmm. You know, who may know it? You know, so that's why, again, sticking to the script, that's our best bet. Right. Us being hopeful elect, you know, to uh, ultimately uh, be saved out of this hellhole being so-called America where it's been scattered. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, because like we had earlier that yeah, you might be thinking on something, the flesh, the flesh might be lusting after something, but then it's ultimately it's gonna be up to the Most High whether He allows you to, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, because yeah. He always gives you a way out, yeah. you know. But if you fuck up, you fuck up. That was that's part of the story. But then now it's about you gonna get up, mm -hmm. you gonna get up, and if you don't get up, that's part of the story too. Either way, either way you put it, it all boils down to what the Most High wants. Mm -hmm. And what he said, all right? You got anything else? No. Okay. All right, so with that, Lord's willing, this was edifying. We're going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Ladash, the bonus of the elder apostles, Great Millstone, and salutation and much love to Yakim. Shalom. Shalom.